Well, Axis Mutual Fund that faced the storm of front-running and price-taking allegations hasn't been able to stand up on its feet ever since. Axis that was once hailed for its performance has struggled to regain its footing in the aftermath of the front-running and price-rigging allegations that surfaced in May of 2022. Two years later, the fund house continues to grapple with the repercussions of the scandal, with its reputation hit and its schemes faltering in comparison to the benchmarks. One year after SEBI released its interim order, Finding irregularities at the fund house, the entire top brass of the fund house has moved out. In the aftermath of SEBI's action, Chandresh Nigam, the then CEO and MD of Access Mutual Fund, resigned from his position, paving way for B. Gopakumar to assume the role of the CEO. In an effort to restore investor confidence, the fund house appointed Ashish Gupta from Credit Suisse as its new chief investment officer. Subsequently, in August 2023, Janesh Gopani, the head of equities, also parted ways with the AMC with Shreyas Davalkar stepping into that role. The latest to exit the fund house is Raghav Ayangar, the chief business officer of Access Mutual Fund. However, the rejig in the fund management team clearly has not helped the fund house to stage a comeback yet. Top access equity schemes, including Access ELSS Fund, Focus 25, Mid Cap, Blue Chip and others, have failed to stage a comeback and data reveals that these schemes have underperformed their benchmarks ever since the front-running news came out. In many instances, access schemes languish at the bottom of the return charts across categories, indicating a significant decline in performance and investor confidence. Let's take a look at the numbers. Before 2021, most of the access equity schemes were toppers on the return charts. Take a look at 2018 to 2020. All equity schemes are beating the benchmark by a considerable margin. Look at the dip in 2021 onwards and specifically in 2022 where the difference between index returns and the scheme returns are the widest, except for Axis Mid-Cap Fund. Let's now delve into the impact on the assets under management of Axis Mutual Fund in the wake of the front-running and price-rigging scandal and also the poor performance of the schemes. The repercussions were palpable with the fund house witnessing a significant decline in its inflow figures. For the quarter ended March 2022, which was right before the news of front-running at Axis became public, the fund house garnered inflows worth 6,331 crores and stood on the second spot among fund houses that saw highest inflows in that quarter. Cut to Q4 of fiscal year 2022-23, Axis Mutual Fund saw outflows worth 9,114 crore and stood in the fund houses that saw the most outflows in that quarter. In the second quarter of 23-24, which is the quarter ended September 2023, Axis Mutual Fund saw outflows worth 9,543 crores. The quarter ended December 2023, which is the third quarter of the fiscal year 23-24, the fund house saw outflows worth 4,138 crore and stood at the sp second spot in the list of fund houses that saw the maximum outflows. So as of now, the fund house seems to be still struggling with the impact of the case. We would need to wait and watch for how much more time they take to turn the situation around and gain investor trust again.